So welcome to the hands-on portion of this video series. Let's start with task one, data preparation, and specifically task one, step one, where you're gonna download some comma-separated values or CSV data. Now, I like to use the humanitarian data exchange as this is a valid and reliable source of this kind of data, and you can see it here on the screen. And there is a link to this website in the tutorial instructions that you can download from my website. So it's pretty easy to download. We go to the page, we click the download button, and I'm gonna put it in a convenient to find location, C temp, very easy to download. And you might wanna take a quick look at the data in something like Microsoft Excel, just to get a sense of what it'll look like. But keep in mind the Tableau itself has a lot of tools for looking at data. But you can see here, there's a header row, sort of a second header row, and the key thing here is every date of vaccination has an individual timestamp by country along with the numbers and some other things. So with that done, let's now do task one, step two, where we're gonna add the CSV data to Tableau as a data source. So assuming that you have Tableau open and you have the opening screen, we'll click here on text file and here's the directory I downloaded my data to. I'm gonna click on that and open it up. And here we see a preview of the data. Now, we'll do a few things to get this data prepared for creating views, worksheets, dashboards, and so forth. The first thing we need to do is we wanna change this field here, location, from being a string field to a geo field or ge geographic data. So to do that, click on right here, those letters and change to geographic role and make it a country or region. And you can see by doing that, the icon above the field change and notice how the other fields have different kinds of symbols and this ties back to the idea of dimensions and measures that you heard about earlier in the video series and you'll see in action in just a moment. Now another thing we're going to want to do is filter some of this data out. Right here you can see this pound sign country plus name is not really a real country. It's something just with this data set. And there's other things in there that you're going to want to eliminate. And if you look at the tutorial instructions, I give you a list of specific things to filter out. And I'll show you how to do that now. So to filter out certain records before they even go into the visual analytics, if I click up here where it says filters add, and then I'm gonna click the button add because I have no filters. And I'm gonna filter on the field location And now what you do here, we wanna exclude certain values. So right at the top of the list, I see country name, and I click exclude. And I'll just do that one to show you the effects of what that'll do. So I hit okay, and I hit okay here. Notice now how that whole row went away because I filtered out that record. So continue that process with the values that you can find on the tutorial instructions. And that's gonna be things like the names of continents like Africa, Asia, Europe, designations of areas like high income and so forth. And these are values that are used by the international humanitarian community. But because we're gonna be using a geographic map of countries specifically, these values don't matter. So again, click on edit, go back to the filter we started, click edit here and like look for Africa Asia, and I'll do the rest of them and come back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back from putting those filters on. And again, you can look at the tutorial instructions for all the different values. Um, but with that, I filtered out locations I don't want to use in my analysis, 12 of 236. I hit okay here. And you won't really see much of anything here, but that'll get your data sets prepared for now the next task of creating visual interfaces. So let's do task two, step one, create a map view. 
Now, to do that, you want to create a new worksheet. It's, it's prompting me to go to a worksheet, but just for the learning, to create a worksheet, if you mouse over, we'll, we'll, we'll do it that way just for the practice. And right out of the gate, if I know this is going to be a map, a geographic map, I'm going to right click on it down here and rename it to map. And here you can see those ideas of dimensions and measures that you learned about earlier in the video series. So again, dimensions are qualitative things like a location, measures are quantitative, and so forth. And the first thing I'm going to do to create my map is I'm going to, we're going to be working with this daily people vaccinated uh, measure. And I'm going to put that in the column. I'm going to drag it like that. And you can notice by default, Tableau adds aggregations to measures, and we're going to change that in just a moment. And we're going to drag the location to the rows. And now here you have this very helpful part of the Tableau software where it's giving you recommendations on different visual interfaces that you can create. So by default, it created this sort of bar chart. But what we're going to do, because this is our map, we're going to go to this one, a symbol map. And right out of the change that doing that, we get sort of graduated symbols that represent vaccinations. Now keep in mind what you're currently looking at is the sum of all the values of all the dates of that measure daily people vaccinated. So when we're building these individual interfaces, what you're seeing individually may not make much sense, but once we create the dashboard and put filters by date and location, you'll get a more meaningful representation of these data. Now let's work with some of the marks here to make this um, what I might call a choropleth map. And if you've watched other videos on this channel about cartography and more things focused on geographic visualization, that's more of what I want to do here. I don't want to use symbols over the countries. I want to make every country its own color representing a data value. And so one of the first things I'm going to do is modify this mark related to the daily people vaccinated. As you heard me just say, by default, Tableau is going to aggregate things. And if I, if you don't want things aggregated like a sum, you can click on the drop down arrow and make it an attribute. And that will look at just individual records as opposed to summing them. And you can see that um, by mousing over some of these uh, values here. And I'll talk about, by the way, what a star means in just a moment when you see the daily people vaccinated star. So now instead of making it a size variable, we're going to change it to color. And by doing that, you can see now how the outline or shape of a country is now filled in with a color representing the data value. And again, it may not make much sense at this point because there's no filter by date on this map. But let's change the color a little bit. Let's first change daily people vaccinated to make it continuous if it already isn't selected. And, and we're going to use a more intuitive legend. As you can see now, it's showing sort of a spectrum of color, but I find it a little easier to use what's called a stepped color. And so to change the color, what I'm going to do, click on the mark and then click on color and then select edit colors. And I'm going to check here, stepped colors. And I find this just, like I said, a little easier to um, interpret. And you have a bunch of different palettes here. And for this kind of thing, I recommend sort of one single color hue with the intensity changing based on the value. So I'll hit apply there and you won't see much on the map, but you can see your legend, I think, becomes a little easier to read. Now, one other thing we're going to do for the geographic map is add the date as one of the marks. And what that'll do is it'll allow us to add it inside of what's called the tooltip that you can see when I'm zooming in and selecting different countries here. So to do that, I'm going to grab date from dimensions, 
drag that under into my marks. And I'm going to make a change here. You can see now how on the tooltip it's saying location, the United States, year of date 2020, but I want the actual date, not the year. So to change that, if I click on this drop down and go to exact date, that'll change what I see when I move my mouse over the countries. And remember to always save your work. Now you can see here as I'm mousing over, I'm getting kind of uh, inconsistency with dates, the number of people vaccinated and so forth. Again, there is no filter on this, but we'll see that in just a moment. All right, let's move on now to task two, step two, where we're going to create a tree map view. So to do that, we're gonna add a new worksheet and I'm gonna rename this one to tree map. And similar process like you saw with the geographic map, I'm going to use the daily people vaccinated and drag that onto the columns, put that measure up there. And I'm going to drag the location dimension to the rows. And you get a similar kind of default interface that you saw before, but now back over here under my different kinds of views, I'm going to select tree map. And the tree map, as you can see, is using size and color together to show me the quantity of values based on, in this case, the daily people vaccinated values. Now, it's pretty good to go as it is. One little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the date dimension onto the tooltip. And initially what you're seeing is the location and then the date and the star. And I mentioned the star earlier. And all that means is Tableau can't show all of the dates for the current record. Because again, we're using the sum of daily people vaccinated. And that's over 100 different dates. So it can't quite show up in the tooltip. But again, when we get to creating the dashboard that'll have filters, that date will be populated with a specific date. I also just want to quickly mention about tooltips. If you double click on tooltip, you can modify what is seen in the tooltip in terms of fonts and other kind of visual uh, elements. I'll just make that something big like that. So notice how the word location India got bigger and so forth. And that can be really helpful. And this is what they call an in information visualization details on demand, meaning that as you move and interact with the interface, you get something on demand. Like when my mouse moves over this blue square of India, I'm getting the name of the square, some data like people vaccinated and so forth. So that's a nice term to use um, if you get more into information visualization. All right, so let's move on now to task two, step three, where we're going to create a timeline view. And to do that, very similar process, we're gonna add a new sheet. I'll right click and rename it and call it timeline. And in this case, I'm gonna drag the date dimension to the columns And I'm going to change it to an exact date by clicking the drop down. And I'm going to drag daily people vaccinated to the rows. And so what you get here now is a interesting interface that's showing you the sum of daily vaccinations around the world on a given date. And right out of the bat here, you can sort of see in the summer of 2021 when vaccination rates worldwide were really ramping up this kind of spike.
And as you can see here, by default, it selected lines discrete. And if you follow those steps, you can stick right with it. But again, another great thing about Tableau is it's giving you recommendations based on your dimensions and measures and are they continuous or discrete and so forth. So certainly play around with these different things to see what might work well for your data and what kind of insights you can derive. Okay, and then one other thing we're gonna do to help with understanding and interacting with this. Note how by default we have the date and the daily people vaccinated are showing up. One little thing we'll do is add location. We'll drag that onto the tooltip. And when we mouse over, as you might expect, we're getting a star for a location because it can't show every single location value on that given date. But as we'll see in just a moment, and as I've referred to several times already, when we start adding, adding filters, the location will show the specific country that's being selected. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.